Good afternoon, Terra Data community, and welcome back to Los Angeles, California. We are here with our final segment for what has been an extraordinarily educational and inspiring day. My name is Savannah Peterson, joined all day with Rob Streche. I can't believe it's coming to an end. I can't either because I love talking about data. I love talking about the use cases and how customers are really just diving in and how they're being successful with it. So this this is fantastic that this is the way we're ending today. I know, it's like a little cherry on top. Yes. Mateus and Mike, thank you so much for taking yep. the time to join us. Busy day for you both, I bet. It's been a bit busy, no doubt, but glad to be here. Yeah, I can I can imagine. So I gotta I'm I'm gonna start with you. You're a first Brazilian guest today. <laughs> and 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 I'm excited because Teradata touches customers all over the world. You've got employees in six continents. Or I mean, yeah, exactly, I said that, right? And and so just a, an example of the global reach. Tell us a bit about Secreti before we get into the Yeah, Secreti is a credit union from Brazil, so we have operations in all the Brazilian states. Uh, our focus in uh, rural lending credit and uh, we have now 8 million clients. And wow. Yes, yes. We are increasing around 20% a year in terms of clients. So, and, and one of the top 10 in Brazil as well. Yes, yes. We are in the top 10 banks in Brazil. So what, what brought you to Teradata? And I, I yeah. know you're doing it with an association with AWS. And how, how did that really come about? And, why Teradata? Yeah, I think in a data scientist perspective, I think we are using Teradata and the power of the data processing, uh, especially because of the speed that this is the, the biggest advantage of using Teradata. And we are able to apply the best practices with a low learning curve. Speed has got to be mission critical. I mean, talking about banking, nobody wants anything slow. If I want my money or if I want to get approved for a credit card, whatever that might be, I want it yesterday. Mike, I'm sure you see a lot of trends with about 50% of Teradata's customers being in the financial institutions. What are some of the challenges or solutions that you're architecting most frequently with these types of customers, like Secreti? So a lot of the work we do is in the commercial banking space, right? So, uh, you know, a lot of large banks, they are serving customers all the time. And as you just said, customers are looking for real-time um, information around the activities they're doing in the bank. And if they've applied for credit at the bank, they're looking for a real-time decision. Am I going to get the credit? When am I going to get credit? And more frankly, when am I going to get the money? So we're doing a lot of work with, uh, with a lot of the financial institutions globally um, on a whole set of use cases. And many of them will be around the customer experience. It's a big area for us. But just as equally, there's a number of use cases around risk and fraud. You know, you're, you're, you're in, 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 in a large economy somewhere like Brazil or anywhere in the world. You know, the banks have an obligation to protect their assets as well. So, you know, the use cases span the gamut in terms of what we see as we work with uh, the banks like Secreti. I believe that. And, and with Secreti, what is it if you don't have accurate data? Because I think a lot of what we've been talking about is really accurate income estimation, things like that. And what does it mean? Is it higher interest rates? Or what, what are some of the examples of, yeah, of the not having the right data? Yeah, the, the income information is the main information to offer financial solution to our clients. So if you have a bad prediction of the income information, you will probably offer a product or a service that won't fit in the client's needs. This is why it's so important to have good predictions. So what, when you started, you're, you're growing quickly, looks like. I mean, I see in here 13% annual new customer growth, not even just building up your existing customers. So that's, that's pretty massive scale. What have been some of the results that you've seen since you started working with Teradata to evaluate someone's credit profile. Yeah. Uh, in this case, that we are trying to predict the client's income, uh, just in the first month, uh, we were able to increase the limits consumption in 30%. Wow. Using the Teradata, yes. In the first month? Yeah, just in the first month. 30% in 30 days. All, yeah. Yeah, I bet we, everybody wants to achieve results yeah. like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's like... <laughs> yeah, we, we've done a great job in terms of uh, 
modeling improvements as mm -hmm. well, and also using updated databases, retraining the model. So we work on that, and we uh, also improve the number of clients that are being scored by these models. So. We've so done a great so job. this bring your own model announcement that Teradata had today, you were already working on it. What does it mean for you, Mike, to be able to bring that to more customers? So I mean, it really follows, um, you know, Teradata's strategy overall is, um, look, we we know there are things that we do really well, and our, our our job is to provide a platform for customers to come to that is going to be able to handle massive amounts of data. It's going to be highly scalable, highly performant. Um, but what we also know is we want to be open and connected. So if you have a model that, that is working and you want to bring it into Teradata, and that's exactly the path they followed, uh, what did they get out of it? They were able to get a good model, but the, the, the performance that they saw in running the model was fantastic, and I'll let him share that with you. But our goal is to make sure that we've got a platform that's open, allows you to bring your own models, connected, allows you to connect with other third-party services to really drive business value like they're being able to do. And, you know, I think the one thing that I, I just got to see his presentation earlier this afternoon is, you know, not only um, are they doing a much better job serving the customers, but when you look at what they've done, they've also brought down the risk profile of the bank, which is just hugely important. So serving more people at the same time Normally you're going to think, hey, I'm serving more people, I'm increasing the risk to the institution. They've been able to double down, serving more people and actually bringing down the risk. It's, it's and very quickly. It's optimizing both ends of the business, yeah. really. It really is, they've yeah. done a great and job. So what was it like before you got to ClearScape and analytics and bringing your own model? Yeah, the before scenario was, was hard because uh, we had an uncalibrated model uh, codes with low performance, uh, we had a no control on data transfer, and a limited target group of clients that were being scored by this model. So it was necessary to rethink this process. Yeah, I can imagine. How long ago did you end up working together? When did, you, when did this engagement begin? Uh, in this case? Yeah. Uh, I think almost four months. That's uh, it? Yeah. You've already seen these results. This is insane. Yeah. I'm looking at yeah. some of the numbers in my Training. notes here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm not even trying to no. over exaggerate, but this, I mean, just, months. just yeah. talking about, just, just speaking about, about models, I know that, that Teradata is size inclusive and, and this BYOM bit is really important, but a 40%, these are massive informants, 40% decrease in time spent to build, test, and deploy, leading to 25x faster model processing? Yeah. 25x. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, our former model, the time of processing, the entire model from the beginning to the predictions, uh, it was around two hours and 10, two hours and 30 minutes of model processing, and now with Teradata, our best time was uh, just six minutes. Wow, and was that preparing the model, training the model, all of that, or Yeah, is just that... model processing. Oh, just yeah. model processing. Yeah, yeah, from the beginning, querying the data, transforming, uh, preparing the data to enter in the model, the, model, the model processing, and then getting the predictions. Wow. This is the entire path of the data, and this is the outcome. And, and it wasn't like- That's bef impressive. Before you were using some arcane technology or something like that. You yeah. were using Databricks, and you were using a cloud-based model. What was the big, change, I guess you could say, when you moved from there, and how long, because I mean, you were building the models, and to your point earlier about data science, you have to try, retrain, go back, refactor the models, and do all of that, pipe, the model pipeline. Yeah. And what really changed with it? Yeah, we have the custom of always trying to test all the technologies that we have. So, and we do that, in uh, small queries, small tests, just to check enough, just to test, and and it's always in. Um, how can I say this? It's always uh, small tests in a fair comparison to have the results and and compare. No, this is better. This is not. So this is why we've chosen the to process everything inside Clearscape Analytics. Makes a lot of sense. What what? problem are you going to solve next using Teradata? Yeah, we have 
we have a challenge, a lot of things to do next year. Um, we have several new models, uh, to new regulatory models, and we are trying to improve the quality of the data that will be used as an input. So we are preparing this book of variables. It will be a challenging. It will be challenging because now we have 900 variables, so we are trying to increase the number with quality and speed. Just a couple. Yeah. Just, just 900 <laughs> different, you know, choose your own yes. adventure little pathways that could fork yes. in. Yeah, no, no big deal. Just a, just a small amount of complexity. Yes. Yeah, there is a lot job to do. And how, how does this help customers in that way? I mean, I, again, the, the time to value seems to be a very large well, time that, to value. I, I mean, that's the obvious one, right? It's time to value. What does that mean? It means they can run their models much more often. They, uh, they, they're freeing up resources on, 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 on the systems for other use cases. But there's also some other benefits that it, it's just like, hey, we got to more customers and we lowered the risk. There's other benefits that come through this as well. So one, they're, they're saving money on data transfer charges. Previously in their data model, I mean, they were moving data back and forth. That's a cost issue, and guess what? It's also a security issue. By keeping the data all within Vantage, one, you're avoiding the cost, but two, you're making it a much more secure situation. You know, and as a bank, we've talked about it, you know, security is paramount above everything else. So, you know, you always go to the end goal and like, oh, it's better timing, better performance. But you know, you step back, your security guy's happy because hey, look, we're doing less. Your CFO is definitely happy, right? Because we're spending a whole lot less money to get this. Your, your revenue team's happy because they're getting more customers, more revenue. So it's, it, there's so many good angles to this. And you know, what I always encourage customers is, you know, you know, pick what you're driving for, but don't forget that you know, simplification can have big, a lot of big benefits across the ecosystem that you may not even be part of your ROI. I think that's a really, I mean, you just brought up a really good point, too, is, is look at the ripple effect of what good can happen. It can become right. a more sustainable ecosystem, you're spending less money, it's taking less time to run models. I mean, the, you kind of win in every axis. You do. Yeah. Which is, wow, you know, you know yeah. I going to say that. All right, I have one. Last question for you, because you're both great. You're doing awesome. I know it's your first time up here, and I just got to give you a shout. You're totally doing great. What do you hope to be able to say next time we're at Teradata Possible, having another chat? You, you know, you've had this four months of, of adoption in this particular use case. What do you want to be able to say a year from now that you can't say today? I think, um, I think uh, in my perspective, uh, as a data scientist, I think I would love to say that uh, for us, we need, in my position, it's important to focus on the modeling technique. Mm -hmm. We are concerned to develop a better model, to improve the model, not just be concerned in terms of the data pipeline, because this takes a lot of time of work, 90% of the time, 80% of the time, treating the data. And we don't have, sometimes we don't have time to focus on the modeling technique, different approaches. And this is, for me, this is something that is really important that I would love to say. Great, well we hope to be able to have that conversation. What about you, Mike? What do you hope to be able to say? So, look, I, I, I just want to be able to say, here's 10 more, 100 more examples of, of, of great use cases that have come out. Um, by employing ClearScape Analytics. And you know, the way we are really trying to get to those is our, our customer success team, they're out with customers every day running AI innovation days. And you know, it's, it's things like these that are coming out of the innovation days to say, hey, how about trying this? Have you thought about using ClearScape for this? Or how about a tweak to this model? Or hey, here's a brand new use case and you've got most of the data already in the system. So, you know, our goal is running the innovation days is to have more and more and more to build on examples like this because they are, they are truly great stories of the capabilities of Vantage and how Vantage is delivering real business value and outcomes to customers like Secreti. Well, we look forward to telling all of those stories. Mike, Mateo, thank you so much for being here. This was awesome. Rob, it's been a really rad day. Also, shout out to the production team over there, making sure we all look fantastic, and everybody else back at the ranch at the Cube. And most importantly, thank all of you for tuning in to our fantastic day of 
power-packed coverage. We've done nine interviews here today at Teradata Possible. I feel smarter. I certainly hope you do. We're in Los Angeles, California. My name's Savannah Peterson. You're watching theCUBE, the leading source for enterprise tech news.